The Unity 6 release is the absolute best version of the Unity engine. And now you've seen some of the new features and examples of what you can do with them. So what's next? We're already rolling additions to the solid foundation of Unity 6 into an update, which we've slated for early 2025. And we're calling the Unity 6.1 update. We'll make it easy to bring your Unity 6 projects to the update when it ships next year. And all of these enhancements are built on the core capabilities that we are shipping with Unity 6. We've been hearing about them today. Graphics, multiplayer services, and platform support. We are extending and adding even more value to these key areas. And we're going to be supporting this release for a long time. You can look forward to features like support for foldable and larger screen formats, deferred plus rendering in GPU resident drawer, and new build targets for Facebook instant games and a new build profile for MetaQuest. But while we're already working on the next generation after Unity 6, in fact, we're already over a year into development, and we're really excited about what the new capabilities are going to bring you. We're a ways out yet. But today, we want to give you just a taste of where things are headed and what that will help you to do. Our vision for this release is driven by your feedback. We hear that you need a simpler experience with improved tooling for rendering and better iteration speed, and the power to build games of ambitious scale. You tell us that there are too many systems to choose between, and this adds risk and uncertainty to your project planning, since you have to choose a UI system, a rendering pipeline. We want to remove this complication. To solve these pain points, we're planning a new release generation that marks a fundamental shift in our thinking and approach. It will dig deep into our core and bring you greater speed and simplicity across systems. DOTS is an integral part of our efforts to streamline and improve performance across the Unity engine. So we're bringing ECS, the Entities Component System, into the very heart of the Unity engine and we're integrating entities with game objects. This shift will bring tremendous benefits, even to those of you who don't typically pick up DOT's features to use in your projects. It will accrue performance gains even in game objects-based design, as well as hugely increasing the accessibility of entities so that you can tap into that power and scale at any skill level. The content pipeline is moving to a new approach that emphasizes iteration time, taking many import tasks and running them in the background while you're working, which means that you'll spend less time waiting and more time working on projects. And beyond this, we are creating a new world-building system built on top of dots, so you can create large, detailed worlds across platforms, including an overhaul to the end-to-end -end workflow, virtual texturing and advanced tess tessellation to maximize details, non-destructive workflows for greater flexibility, and shader graph integration for terrain surface, the ability to seamlessly blend in meshes. We're also introducing an all-new animation system that offers tools and workflows that are designed for a new generation of games, including production flexibility, animation at scale, and performance across platforms. Now, we also know that scripting is one of the most important parts of your creation experience. So we have been working on moving all mono functionality to core CLR. 
This will keep you up to date with the latest .NET advancements, and it will bring big performance gains, both to the editor and to the runtime. So I think you can see why we're already so excited about this big release, even though it's a ways off. And we will continue to support and enhance Unity 6 so that your projects can stay on track. And you can make the jump whenever the time is right, so you can start taking advantage of these benefits. Now, last thing, we want to get this right. So we've started sharing and pressure testing the next major vase release with a few developers. We're actively soliciting feedback to ensure that what we are building will truly make an impact on how you use Unity every day. Next year, we plan to open up wider feedback through open beta. We'll have a lot more to share about the future of the Unity engine at our roadmap session here at Unite.